Every month, 5,000 people move to Sydney. The city has outgrown even its extremely long coastline, so now it's moving onto man-made land. In this neighborhood, Barangaroo, engineers are building three massive new office blocks on land that once was ocean. 50 to 60 years ago, ships would have pulled right into this area to be unloaded. Sydney itself is quite restricted on both sides by, by the harbour. So it's going to add a substantial amount of urban environment to the city. Unlike most engineers in Sydney, Gary doesn't have the luxury of building on solid sandstone. The land here is rubble, dumped into the harbour. You can see this is the sort of material that we've been, that we've been excavating through. It consists of anything from you know, broken old bits of, bits of concrete, there's clay, sandstone blocks. You can see brick fragments in it. The ground conditions, particularly for our technique of excavation, are, are, are terrible. Um, really challenging and, and difficult ground to dig in. Gary's biggest problem is keeping the ocean out of his building site. We're standing on Swiss cheese. There's so many holes through the ground underneath us that the water can travel through it relatively freely compared to natural ground. If Gary's team simply digs a big pit into the rubble, the walls will cave in. So instead, they carve out a deep trench around the perimeter and fill it with a dense clay slurry to keep the water out. They drop in steel rebar cages and pump in concrete to displace the slurry and form a watertight wall. Only then can they dig out the basement inside. The retaining wall that we're constructing is essentially making a bathtub around the site. The walls that we're constructing are socketed down to the underlying sandstone in order to stop the ingress of water underneath the toe of the panel or through the panel. This is a 1,200 grab that we use to excavate the trenches. we about 80 tonne of closing power on the jaws. They must dig more than 40,000 tonnes of rubble out of the trench. When they reach solid rock, they use enormous chisels to keep going. He raises the, the chisel about half a metre a metre and then drops it and under its own weight, pulverises the rock, as you can hear there. The steel cages that reinforce the walls weigh up to 26 tonnes each. This cage is 25 and a half metres long, so the panel that it'll be installed to is about 26 metres deep in total. Even though this wall contains over 35,000 tonnes of concrete, it cannot keep the ocean at bay on its own. 